Creating and uh, casting shadows in After Effects require three defined steps. The first is to create a background, so I'm going to right click um, and then choose New, Solid. Bring down an object, which will be the one uh, casting the shadow, and uh, it has to be on top of the background. And the third one is to create a light, so I'm going to right click, New, Light. Um, make sure that you pick one of those type of lights that allow to cast shadow. You see that uh, type of lights like ambient light, that when you choose it, it doesn't allow to cast the shadow. Uh, whereas when you pick uh, spotlight, of course, it does give you the option whether you want or you don't want, don't want to cast the shadow. In this case, I do want. Once you've done so, you will see the cone of light being uh, uh, displayed on the screen, but the light will not be uh, shown at least in terms of shadows because the layers have to be. 3D in order to uh, cast and uh, receive uh, uh, shadows. So you have to click for um, on the on the box with the cube for each layer. Once you've done so, you can bring uh, the light closer or further just by clicking very accurately on the blue um, arrow that you see uh, at the light. When you see the letter Z, basically the letter Z, you can start uh, uh, moving the lights uh, closer or or further and once you've done so if you want to see the shadow behind the uh, alarm clock there are two more steps to take the first step is to make sure that you uh, open the properties of the object and you go into material options and you will find uh, uh, casts shadows there you go you have to turn this on once you've done so however it doesn't appear right away because when we have dragged down the object and the background, uh, both of them were placed at the same Z point because they were both 2D initially. So there wasn't one in front of the other, they were just one on top of the other in the hierarchy of the layers. So what we have to do now is to tap the letter P on the keyboard and you see that now for 3D objects we don't have only uh, X and Y but we also have Z. And as I start changing the value for Z in a, a negative value, you will see that the alarm clock will come closer to us and it will start casting the shadow behind.